Hello everyone and welcome back to another A Massey and an Amazing Chess Game by Vichy Anand against Boris Gelfand. So as you know Anand is one of the greatest chess players of all times and five times former world chess champion. This chess game happened in 1996. Uh, Boris Gelfand is also a very strong chess grandmaster. Let's see what happened in this chess game and Vichy Anand is also the first Indian chess grandmaster. So Anand starts the game with e4, c5, the Sicilian defense, knight to c3, d6, and this is known as the closed Sicilian defense, f4, and this is also known as the Grand Prix attack. So g6, developing the pieces, and nothing is interesting so far. So Anand castled, rapidly developing, and a6, e5, charging at the center. So basically Anand wants to open the f-file and then knight to e4 exchanging and basically black is accepting the pawn sacrifice but mission accomplished. Anand opened the f-file, rook back, g5, queen to g3 and black castled. It looks like black castled into it because in this position uh, can you see what white can play here? Well, Vichy Anand simply sacrificed a piece for opening the king's side. Knight takes on g5. And in this position, the immediate threat is queen to h4 and then checkmate. So knight goes back and defending uh, on h4. So let's check out what happens if some random move, then queen to h4. Only defense is moving the rook. But can you see what white can do in this position? attacking the very important critical defender of f7 and planning to sacrifice the exchange and then checkmating the king. So okay, this looks very dangerous. So this is why knight goes back, knight to g6 and then centralizing the rook, queen to e7 and maybe in this position Anand could capture the pawn with the knight or capture this pawn. So after capturing back, you can take the knight and that also looks very dangerous. So queen to e7 and in this position uh, of course white would like to play queen to h3 and then checkmate but if queen to h3 queen takes knight. So what would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? I am testing your chess understanding, your tactical understanding. Can you see what white can play here? So basically white needs to defend the knight and then queen to h3 and then checkmating the king. So this is what Anand did. Rook to f5. A beautiful move. The e-pawn is pinned. And now white can play queen to h3 and then checkmate. Because defending the knight. So bishop to f6. But in this position Anand sacrificed his knight. Because if capturing queen takes knight is possible. But after capturing the knight... Anand didn't capture the knight with the queen. He played rook takes on e6. A thunder strike, a lightning strike, an amazing move. So in this position, if defending the queen, rook takes bishop. And black is getting checkmated by force because this bishop is also aiming the king. We have king to g7, a very desperate move. But if capturing the rook with the bishop, then queen takes knight. And basically there is force checkmate. And there is no sensible defense. So in this position, a cannon blast. Rook takes on e6. King to g7. And then capturing the queen basically and simplifying the game. And after pushing the pawn, Gelfand didn't like this position. Well, basically Anand has the queen against two minor pieces plus the rook. Uh, also, he has three uh, extra pawns and this pawn is marching. And actually, also positionally, black is losing. So the computer chess engine gives white some 4 plus advantage, plus 4 points advantage. So, okay, so this was a chess game from way back in 1996. I hope you have enjoyed watching this chess game. So I hope to see you next time with more instructive chess games from the history of chess. So take care, stay safe, and bye-bye.